hey welcome everybody today's video we are going to create a clone form using livewire so let me give you a demo what we are going to do so as a starting point we have this uh, this is existing project called resume builder that we built on some series on this channel you can watch that so we have this education summary section where we are listing all the education related to the user so user will create a resume based on all these information we will generate the resume so for education we have this data and we have simple CRUD for education so what we want to do is suppose let's go to add another education form and it will load our education so previously we have just one form and we can add education and then save education which will redire redirect us back to this page and again we do add another and we can do we can add one education at a time so that was the old way or the normal way of doing things so in this video we will create a clone form meaning whenever we do add new we'll get form right away and user can add as many education or as many data as he or she needs you can delete as well so we will enter all the education that we require once and then save education which will save us some time and it will also increase our user experience so to do that we will use livewire we can do uh, this kind of uh, behavior using Vue or Alpine JS, but for that we need to make AJAX request and send it to API endpoint, make an API endpoint, and do all these data communication. But with Livewire, it is quite easy. So let's start. So in VS Code, let's jump to Education Controller, which is loading this education page and from here so by the way i have just showed you the final product and starting point is like this we have just one form and now we need to make this component livewire component so first step is to install livewire we can do that using composer composer require livewire livewire so once that is finished we need to add that on layout app so like so we need to add livewire styles and livewire scripts so once they are added we need to go to education dot create form so whenever we uh, come to this page we will load the education dot create form so previously there was a, a form simple form like this and now we have to replace this with our livewire component so to generate that clone component we'll use livewire livewire make command so php artisan make livewire and do clone form so whenever we run this command it will create two form for us two files for us so whenever we run that command we generated clone form.php file and inside resources views livewire clone form dot blade after that we need to include just delete that form and include our newly created clone form component so that's it now let's go to clone form dot psp as you can see i have written some code so i will explain what i did so now we are only concerned about two files so clone form dot psp and clone form dot blade so let me make it a bit bigger so in clone form dot blade file we have included that create form and there is add new button and save education button and in livewire we do submit by this and this is the section just to show the success message all right so we will have a form and then we have to create another form whenever user clicks on add new so whenever user clicks on add new let me show this on browser how it looks so this is how it looks whenever we do add new it should create another same form like clone the 
one form so we are doing like this we are looping through the inputs array so whenever we loop through this it will be duplicated and add new will trigger this add new function let's see how what that function looks like here so there is only one variable inputs it contains all the form fields so whenever user clicks on add new this inputs we are just inserting empty array on this input so that now this array count will increase to one so whenever user clicks on add new again the count of the length of this array will become two because we are we keep pushing empty array into it so that is how we are adding new form so next step is to add the remove form functionality so there is a button for removing it minus button whenever we click on remove it is removing it is calling the remove method or function and passing in the index of the current form so index currently we are doing like this we are just getting the length of array and if array length is 2 we will show 2 length 2 forms so index will be 0 1 so whenever we call this method suppose we want to delete form number 2 this will be 1 and let's see this function so this is the remove function so we are getting index from our form and then we'll unset that element in this input array so that element or that form will be deleted and then we are just resetting the values because whenever we delete a second item from the array it will disturb its index like there will be no one or two this will affect negatively that's why we are just resetting all the values or index from that so you can study this code or search for it if you don't understand what array values do go to PSP documentation or in VS code it will just display like this or link and pretty easy so that is the remove button and finally what we need to do is we need to store this data right so whenever we do submit or save education we need to submit all data and persist it on database so how do we do that in livewire whenever we submit so we are not using form action or anything we are using wire submit and then prevent the default action and then we are calling store method that's it so let's see what store method is doing over here so first of all we are doing validation we are checking if input field contains required data so currently in education table we have school name degree and all these uh, all these columns so we are validating like this so inputs for that we need to see the wire model or this thing we need to understand this so we are binding the value of this school name field to inputs array and then index name and then variable name so uh, let me die and dump and show it it will you'll understand that way easier so let, let me die and dump this inputs let's go to form so school name one school so let me put that for now one one add new to school two, two. so i can do dummy content for now all right so whenever i do save education we are just dying dumping over here just to see what the data structure will be so this is the inputs array so data structure will be like this one whole array and individual array containing the data like so so whenever we are doing validation for inputs and then index number 
and then school name similarly we are checking this index number one and then validate if it contains value or not same thing here so indexing will be will be replaced by this identify star which will validate all the fields in that array so everything else will be same like required and you can do any validation here and after adding validation let's check if validation is working or not so to check validation we need we have this error directive in livewire which will listen for that particular field and then display the error name field is required and whatever you can add for each fields like this suppose you want to see for the degree and then degree required like so so let's jump back to code and whenever i want to submit it should say this thing required and similarly it will do validation for that suppose i have filled this it should run so name required over here okay so this is about validation and for saving data what we are doing over here is there is relationship between authenticated user and education so here we are just grabbing the authenticated user and creating the new education and then we are flashing the message saved successfully and then redirecting back to index page this is all standard logic so let's check this out let's go to education currently we have three education and let let's add two more all right so we have this two clone and one clone so let's save this and we should see these two over there yeah there we go we have these two data edit all right so this is all about clone form and hope you like this video i'll put this code on github or github gists you can study that and download it from there and i'll see you on another video bye